Hi, Nina. Great to have you today. Uh, thanks for having me. Could you uh, briefly introduce Roche? Yes, so Roche is actually um, one of the largest healthcare companies in the world. Um, we were founded in 1896 in Basel, Switzerland, um, and we focus on two different business areas, pharmaceuticals and diagnostics, where we are uh, the leader in, um, in cancer therapies today. What is the market share of Roche? Russia's market share is almost uh, $250 billion, and uh, Swiss francs around 220, 230 billion Swiss francs. Our sales growth is mainly being driven by our, um, our, her our pharmaceutical sales growth is mainly being driven by our HER2 medications. Uh, so we have three drugs that are approved for HER2 positive breast cancer, um, which is dri driving a lot of the growth. Um, we also have um, a new acquisition that we made um, back in September of last year of a company called Intermune, where we've launched a new drug called Esbriet that will also be driving some growth in the U.S. So we we have some new some new drugs that have that have uh, gotten approval um, in the last three years. We've had six new drugs that have gotten approval that are driving some growth in the in the, the company. So we have 62% um, of our pharmaceutical sales are currently in cancer treatments. Um, our biggest cancer drugs are um, Herceptin. Perjeta and Ketsila, so our HER2 franchise, um, Avastin, um, which is approved for seven different cancer types, um, and um, Mapthera Rituxin, um, which is approved for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL. You know, Roche is a company that's been around for a very long time. You know, we've been around for 119 years. Um, we have a really great um, portfolio of drugs um, where we're very different in focusing on personalized healthcare treatments. You know, the history of Roche has, has been um, to be a sustainable company, um, to make sure that um, we focus on medically differentiated products um, so that we can um, become leaders in certain, in certain fields and areas. Um, you know, like we said, we are leaders in cancer therapies and we, we intend to stay there um, and we intend to become um, sort of leaders in other areas as well um, and to continue to be the leader in in vitro diagnostics. So, I mean, you know, I think our performance is, is, is we've, we've done very well historically. So in the last three years or so, um, since two, uh, end of 2011 or so, um, our market cap has almost doubled um, from where it was before. Um, so we've, we've done very well. Um, where we will continue to see those successes is to make sure that we have successful clinical trials that read out um, that make a difference in patients lives um, so we need to make, continue to, to, to make that difference um, in order to, to continue to be successful in the future.